Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Casey Renee and I make costumes. Um, this is my first time doing Vlogmas and we're on day one of Vlogmas. Um, and I decided that before I like do anything, I just wanted to do a quick intro um, and say hello and show off a little bit of my studio. Just real quick. This is my sewing space and my computer space. But, um, so I am doing Vlogmas for the first time ever and I'm pretty jazzed about it, but I have no clue what to expect. So here I am and basically I want to do Vlogmas and I'm here to do Vlogmas just to kind of play around with vlogging type content that revolves around sewing and costume making still you'll get a little bit of my life i mean my dog is like unpredictable so she'll almost always like make her way into video and my partner is pretty unpredict unpredictable as well so he will make his way into videos as well but i just kind of wanted to try it out and uh you can hear T screaming in the background, I'm sure. Well, I don't know, you might be able to. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to try this out. So uh, yeah, um, today is December 1st and our goals for today are to decorate my studio. I have right here a little like box that has my Christmas tree in it and um, a bag of ornaments. I'm making a Christmas tree skirt for my Christmas tree and I'm going with like a, a silver and gold theme with a splash of black because I just like that uh, and I have a white tree. I had a black tree for Halloween. I almost got a black tree for this but I thought it'd be kind of fun to like switch it up. Uh, and then on my table here, I am working on making um, pillows, pillowcases and well pillowcases because I bought like just regular, I think like 14 inch pillows and so I'm making pillowcases and I embroidered them and I'll show them off here and when they're done but my goal for today is to make a tree skirt and then make some pillowcases and then um, for my downstairs and then also to make matching um, table what are they called like uh, placemats I'm gonna make placemats that kind of match the table or the pillowcases ish and then i think the last one was if there's time i'm gonna make some christmas pajamas for me and my partner so we can have matching pajamas um i have a meeting today at two and then after that i really have to edit a video so that's kind of what my day is going to be like so uh, i guess we'll check in in a couple hours to see like how the pillows and stuff are coming along and I'll talk to you guys then. Okay, so it's about lunchtime. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I've gotten done so far. These are gonna be our uh, placemats. So I've got my fabric cut and then I also have my little um, batting that's gonna go inside of it cut and I have four of them cut. So we will sew these. This will be after lunch. I did finish my tree skirt, although I think I'm gonna top stitch this down because I pressed it a little, but I, I should have clipped the curves, but I'm gonna just top stitch it. And I've got my little ruffle at the bottom. This part took the longest, obviously, because ruffles, you know. But it was fun, I mean like, most of this stuff is stuff either in my stash uh, or like this was in my stash, these are in my stash. The lame and the cotton was in my stash. I did buy the top fabric and I asked for down to the inch how much I needed. Um, so that was a thing. And then I have cut or I embroidered these like a week ago. Um, and so they're all cut down to the size they need to be. And I've got this one too. Um, so I've got four total embroidered little um, pillows. They're all cut down. And then I'm gonna make, uh, cause I have six pillows total. I'm gonna make two out of this so it'll match. Um, and that is that. It is about 12 o'clock now. So I'm gonna go have some lunch and then sew these things together and hopefully finish them by two. Uh, so that I can just after two o'clock, I've decided I'm not gonna do my PJs today. I'll make them uh, when I have time later this week. Um, but I have a meeting at two. And then afterwards, I really do need to work on my, um, my, my cage crinoline video, which the finished crinoline is right here. And yeah. So let's go have some lunch and then hopefully 
be I'll check in either after my meeting or before my meeting whenever I get all these done. All right, guys. So it is midday. It's 3:45. Okay, I lied. It's the afternoon, and I have I just finished my meeting. It went so well. I can't tell you about any of it. I promise someday I'll be able to tell you all my secrets and things. But until then, I have I <laughs> right before my meeting, I finished some here, let's let's see if I can do this. Some cute little uh you know, place mats and then these are my pillowcases and they're turned like inside out cuz I'm going to go put them on my pillows. And now I'm going to go put these downstairs and maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of like my couch or something. I don't know with the pillows on them. We don't really decorate. I don't know why I made place, mount, place mats. We don't really decorate or have like Christmas set of um, like dishes, but maybe I'll set my table and show you guys a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. The, these don't match my place settings, but you know, I'm going to put them out and then I have to edit this bad boy right here. I am only... <laughs> I've only gotten 10 minutes in, <sighs> but I will show you a little bit of my uh, pillows on my couch and you'll probably see some Eva. Uh, so yeah. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1877, physicist and iron master William Paul Caltech became the first to liquefy oxygen. He later successfully liquefied nitrogen, hydrogen, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and acetylene. I guess he preferred his assets, liquid. Good morning and happy December 2nd. This is day two of Vlogmas and I am still not done with my cage crinoline video. So I'm gonna start the day with editing that and I'm gonna do that up until like 11 or 12 and then I'm gonna go for a run and then have some lunch. This is my morning voice. I'm sorry, this is just how I sound for the first hour or so of the morning. Um, also, it's still dark outside. It's 7.07 .07 a.m. So it's like a little early for some people, but happy day two. I also haven't decorated my Christmas tree in here yet, so maybe we'll get around to that today. I have a meeting at 2 p.m. and then hopefully after that I can decorate and get started on Bell. We'll see. But happy day two. <sighs> Oh, this is my face. <laughs> so it's 12.30 and um, I literally am exporting the cage crinoline video as we speak, as long as nothing breaks. And um, I completely forgot that I uh, had a new video go live at 12 today on Elsa's embellishments. Um, I haven't ran yet. I have a meeting at two, so I really need to eat and like do something with my hair and put makeup on and look kind of like decent, you know, like, like please, you know, um, you know, like professional. So I might try to run at five. Cage crinoline is exporting. It's 33 minutes long. I'm so sorry. I really, please watch this video. It, I put a lot of effort into it. Please watch it. <laughs> um, I feel like, <laughs> The rest of today is just gonna be me begging you guys to watch it. Um, but anyway, that uh, I have to make a thumbnail. I have to add the materials lists. I have to do my SEO for it. And then I will post it on Ko-fi and Patreon. Again, when you guys see this video, it will have been live. But like right now, those are the things I have to do. And I was supposed to start Bell today, but I'm here. Uh, so I'm gonna start Bell tomorrow and I'm gonna do basically after my meeting I'm going to do all those things get get cage crinoline going like cage crinoline really needs to just get up And 
then um, I will decorate actually. That's what'll happen is Cage Cronolin will go and I will decorate this tree and I'll like put, set my camera up so you guys can watch me decorate it. And uh, I'll show you guys like what I got for it and stuff like that, but hi. Um, Sorry that this part of Vlogmas is so boring. This part of December has been so boring for me. I'm just joking though. I, uh, I've gotten myself a little bit more familiar with After Effects, which is uh, an editing program. Yeah, so, hey, what's up? I'll, I'll chat with you guys like either right before my meeting or right after, sometime, sometime at that area. All right, guys, my meeting is over. That's, I think, it for meetings this week, but we'll see. I don't know. Watch tomorrow, I'll wake up, and I'll have one at two o'clock again. Ah, I'm just kidding. Uh, so now I'm going to finally, oh, finally get the video uploaded in, onto YouTube and Patreon. Well, it goes live on YouTube in Sunday, but I'm gonna get it up on Patreon and Ko-fi, and then start working on something that I can't talk about, but like I promise it's cool. Um, so that's kind of the rest of my day. It's only, oh, it's four o'clock. By the way, right now it's four o'clock. Um, I've got some brainstorming I have to do for projects for next year and that um, I was gonna work downstairs, but it's probably better if I just stay up here until six and then I'll cook. Maybe I'll bring you guys with me while I cook. I'm making, um, I'm a vegetarian. I've never, I don't think I've ever really talked about that on the channel before, but I'm making stuffed peppers and I'm using uh, the impossible meat to make them. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how that goes. We just discovered that they sell the impossible meat at um, our Publix and like it's already ground up. Like it's, they sell it like it's ground beef, but it's frozen. So um, we've made, baked ziti and lasagna with it so far. And now I'm gonna try stuffed peppers because Alex suggested it and it was on my mind and I just kept thinking about it. So uh, here we go. Um, I'll check with, in with you guys when I'm done with my, um, the few things there. Also, I'm wearing my shirt. This is, you guys, okay, I'm so obnoxious. Uh, I made this shirt, it's the Gibson girl pattern, but this is probably I need to make 10 of these, by the way, but this is probably my favorite thing I've ever made myself. Like I wear it all the time. Anytime I have a meeting, anytime I'm gonna be on camera, I wear it a lot because I just, I love it. If I'm gonna go hang out with people, I wear it. It's my favorite. So I really, um, I saw somebody made a modified version with just cotton and I wasn't go, like not cotton. <sighs> made a modified version with not cotton lawn, but Kona cotton, which is what this is interlined with, or like flat lined with. So I think I wanna try to make one with just Kona cotton and see like how it goes. Cause like basically this is that and it feels great, but I keep touching, <laughs> I keep touching my shoulders. Anyway, that's the plan. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Good morning and happy Vlogmas day three. Today, um, I saw it's about 7.43 right now. About, it is 7.43. I've been up since just before six o'clock. I did my morning routine and then I checked some emails and I decided the first thing that I should do today is set up my little corner here with my tree and get a few of my decorations set out so that I can wrap Toby's presents and possibly Eva's presents, and then um, get just those completely knocked out. I like to start the day with um, little wins. So like if there's a 30 minute thing I can do to start my day, like putting the dishes away, that doesn't take 30 minutes, but like something small, like vacuuming, that, that sometimes will take 30 minutes, but like a little thing in the morning to start my day so that I can already check something off the list. Because what we're working on today is Belle's underskirt. And hopefully by the time this goes live, I've announced that I'm making Holiday Belle. I didn't even think about time-wise, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I'll have a little time-lapse here of me decorating this corner and maybe putting some things together in my studio. And then we will hopefully kick Toby out of the top stairs so I can wrap his presents. Let's do this.
All right. So as you can see behind me, I have finished um, cutting my skirt pieces. It is a circle skirt, so I'm letting them hang. I should ideally let them hang for a day, but I'm hoping to be hand sewing the trim onto this tonight and like the next three or four nights. So we're going to let it hang for a couple of hours. If you can hear my washer machine in the back, I'm washing the cotton that goes under that because it is going to be the lining that will probably hang for a few days because I'm going to hand sew trim onto this and then, um, get it like get, you know, probably add beads or something to it. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I got another Black Friday package or purchase that I made. So I figured I would unwrap it, uh, unwrap it, unbox it, and I'll unbox um, some of the other purchases I made on Black Friday. And then um, maybe have some lunch or something like that. So yes. Okay, so this first one is from Joann's and actually like most of the order got canceled because they ran out of things, which is to be expected. And I wasn't actually, I normally go to Joann's on Black Friday and I normally shop in person on Black Friday, but we're in the middle of a global pandemic and I didn't think it was the wisest choice. I might try to check my Joann's like tomorrow morning. Um, I normally go on Friday mornings to Joann's or like Friday, mornings really um or saturday morning well no not saturday mornings i try to go in off time sometimes friday night is dead too but i try to go when they're not busy so let's see what's in here Yes, this is a seam ripper. I use a seam ripper to open boxes because YOLO. Oh my gosh, this is for my little spot right over there, which I'll show you here in a second. He is cute. And this was going to be for a basket display thing we were gonna put in our um, like coffee table or on our coffee table. And the basket itself was sold out and then like the other three items were sold out. So I'm gonna go to my store and see what I can, what I can find. So yes, but we got a couple more packages to open, so. Sorry, Toby's on a meeting, so. This is So, um, if you've ever watched costuming drama before, she was talking about this um this handkerchief linen in um well, that's kind of sweet from fabricstore.com. And I was researching my first project for 2021. Um, and I thought that it needs a, like a, like a, well, at first I thought I could make myself a new chemise, but, um, it also has like a, sh like a shirt, like a long sleeve shirt underneath it, um, as one of the layers. And so I got this with the hopes that it would work and it is, ooh, it is nice. It is real nice. But, so this will go. I don't typically wash my fabrics until I'm like close to using them, which is probably bad practice. I'll show you the, the wool. Well, it's a wool blend that's gonna go with this project if you wanna. I haven't announced what it is yet and you probably can't guess just by like the materials. You might be able to. One of you out there knows what it is because she is a, uh, she she knows <laughs> but right okay the last box
So um, I did order some corsetry supplies because I thought it would be fun to make myself a new corset for next year. So I did get, um, and they had a Black Friday sale. So I got some um, whale boning. This is the synthetic whale bone that I really, really like using for stays. So I got this and then I got a huge amount of spiral steel. Um, oh, I think I got the wrong size, but that's okay. I'll use it. I wonder why I went with three eighths of an inch and not one quarter of an inch. I guess I can still, I mean, I'll still make it work. Don't worry. I got a busk. I got a black busk because I think I am going to make this new corset black just because I have a new black crinoline. So why not? I think that's everything that I got. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to, it's 11, ooh, 11, 11, make a wish. All right. Um, I'm going to get this guy put up and put some of these decorations up a bit. And uh, then I need to change the laundry. And I think I will, mm, the next step is pretty big for my trim. So I don't know if I want to start it before or after lunch. I might just eat lunch now. Although Toby's done it or has a break at noon. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. I'm back. You can see the little, the skirt hanging behind me. And I've got this beautiful fabric here. And yes, I, I am, I am done. I, I did the face. I'm in the outfit. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to be live streaming tonight at 7 p.m. with uh, Oh My Sophie, April Gloria, uh, Blue Gray Emma, and Nailed It. And so I'm like, all right, I got to put my makeup on now and like get my stuff together now so that when I go downstairs to cook, I don't have to like stress about getting stuff done. Yeah. So anyway, here we are. Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna cut some of this out. I'll show you. I'll flip around and show you. Um, we're gonna cut some of this out for the skirt. Uh, I, I like am pointing to it and looking at it. I hope that I hope you know what I mean. Um, because this is gonna be the trim that goes on the skirt. It's gonna it's pretty long. Um, and I'm gonna be using this uh like heat craft tool. Here I'll show you this little cutting tool. Um, this one. These one. There we go to do that. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing is cutting out the trim for the skirt. I don't actually know how much I need, so I probably should measure the circumference of that skirt and figure it out. Uh, something I, I know I'm going to need to do because it's a circle skirt is kind of figure out how to like angle the pieces upward. But I think that's something I'll worry about when I start to attach it. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm doing. All right, guys, so I've got the circle skirt done. Now we just gotta add the trim. I'm going to take, uh, like head downstairs and start cooking dinner. And I think it is something that goes in the oven. So I will possibly, probably come back up here while it's in the oven. And then I have the stream tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys with me though, cause we're gonna make stuffed peppers. I know I said that last night, but I decided to eat comfort food, which is just pasta. Uh, and it only took 20 minutes versus stuffed peppers will probably take longer. So let's go downstairs and make some dinner.
Good morning. So it is Vlogmas day four and I didn't even follow up with you guys last night on like the stream or anything, but I streamed and I also got some hand sewing done on Belle. Um, and right now, because I, it's supposed to rain in the next 20 minutes or start raining and then it's going to rain all day. I'm going to try to go for a run. And then, um, when I get back from my run, I need to go to Joanne's and I like to go kind of like in the morning on Friday before like everyone's off work for the weekend and getting stuff. So I like to kind of go on Friday morning. Um, so I'm going to go to Joanne's and then I'm going to come home and I had like a month and a half ago an idea I'm not gonna tell you what it was because I'm not gonna follow through with it and right now I'm not sure that I want to do it um, it involved my patreon uh, and uh, I'm gonna do an aspect of it but I don't think I'm gonna do it at the grand scale that I had initially planned mostly because of time and also um, I really want to start working on my 2021 project and getting sketches made and things like that and the only way that I can really do that and put effort into that is by making sure that I'm on track with Belle and I'm a day behind on Belle so I need to catch up today and I need to finish this part of Belle on Saturday on Sunday so that Monday I can start kind of working on sketches for my 2021 project getting my Pinterest boards filled um getting an idea of like what I'm ordering and stuff so today is run go to Joanne's <laughs> Eva just, Eva just like ran up here and like gave me some sass. <laughs> She's so sassy. Okay, uh, so run, Joanne's, uh, get some sewing done on Belle, and I'll show you guys what I've been doing for the hand sewing portion, and then um, just try to get as ahead as like as far ahead on Belle as I can. Cool. Tomorrow is my day off. I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff, so we will cover that then, but I will check in with you when I'm back from my run. All right, so I went for a run and then I showered, wet hair, <laughs> and then um, we watched this week's episode of The Mandalorian and now I need to go to Joanne's before they get busy and get fabric for commissions and then I'm gonna come back and hand sew on the couch with Eva. Um, so yeah, today's gonna be kind of a little bit of a boringer day, I'm sorry but um, I'm pretty jazzed. So uh, yeah, I will talk to you when I get back from Joanne's probably so that um, I can show you some hand sewing stuff that I'm working on and we'll go from there. All right, everyone. So today is Vlogmas day five, and I will admit it's, well, it's Saturday, December 5th, obviously day five. I will admit yesterday after hand sewing up here, I think that's the last footage I got. We just went downstairs, or I went downstairs and Toby had lots of meetings, so I didn't bring my camera or anything. And I just hand sewed on the couch while he did his meetings. And then we watched Elf. And that was like, that was our night. 
it's 11, basically 11 a.m. right now. Um, and I didn't even show you what I got at Joann's. I didn't even show you. I also got another Black Friday purchase in the mail. So I figured I would show you guys that. Uh, and then I've got to get a video off of my hard drive to post on Instagram today. And then we're going to take Eva for a walk. We're going to make a little decoration with, um, for the, like our, our coffee table. Uh, we're going to go ax throwing Toby's birthday is on Monday. We're celebrating today. We're going to do ax throwing. We're going to pick up some beer and pick up some, um, pizza and play board games. So a lot of the footage, I, I think I'm going to try to do on my phone. Um, I do have an iPhone 11, so like it should be decent. You know, I've, I've been told that people make full, like, uh, YouTube videos and stuff. Is it the 11? I don't know. I have an iPhone. I have one of the newer iPhones. Um, so yeah, let's see. I'll show you guys this fabric I got. So, okay, this is not, this Amazon package is not boring. It's businessy stuff. Um, I have a commission for a Ravenclaw robe on, for, on Tuesday that I'm making. So I got some Ravenclaw blue cotton there for the lining and I got to wash that. I got some zippers because you can see here, uh, we've got Belle going on. I got just, you know, a zipper for, for Belle and then an invisible zipper for the back of Belle, the top dress. But last year at Quilt Market, I got to meet um, Alexander Henry, who is a, if I remember while editing, I'll post the picture of meeting him. But he's a, a, a textile artist or like a, he makes his own line of fabric, basically. Um, and he's pretty popular in the quilting world. And a lot of his fabric is sold at Joann's. When I was there, I got to see some of his stuff and he was releasing a Frida Kahlo, um, uh, like line of fabric. And he's had like, I think there's two or three Frida Kahlo lines he's made now. And I, I love Frida. She's one of my like artistic idols. I think that her story is very fascinating. I think that um, her artwork is, is really, really, um, beautiful. And I just really like her and they had her fabric. I couldn't. Okay. So his line was like literally behind huge boxes of tape, which was really frustrating. I don't know if they were trying to hide it because you can't buy it yet or what. Um, but it was also on sale for some reason. I think it was like, so I had a 20% off coupon, but it was already like, 30% off, I think. Either way, I got myself four yards of it or three and a half yards of it, whatever they had left of it, basically. And it's beautiful. I really like this turquoise color. Um, I don't really make dresses like out of this kind of fabric anymore, but I really need to make myself some um, dress bags. I have dress bags for traveling, but the problem is they're all very long and they drag on the floor. And even my long dresses are like too short for them. So I thought I would take one of them apart and um, use it to create a pattern to make my own dress bag that is like, um, the right size for my garments. So I think this, and then I have a Tula pink fabric that would look so good and that would be perfect. And then maybe uh, a few other fabrics if I ever find more that I want. But I feel like also that'll help create a distinction because when we often room in conventions, we room with people, right? And so like if my bags stand out, then I don't know, I feel like that would be really cool and helpful. So that's a thing. Now let me open this. You can hear it. I had a, like a, a kind of an issue with this company. This is from Beads Factory. They were out of a lot of what I wanted. So let's hope that they had, I can't even remember like what I ordered that they had still in stock. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll see. We're gonna go through this together. So these are Flatback Family. I don't know what this is. You know how like Black Friday is. Some companies are like, let's gift. Oh, you know what? It's probably, they've sent me something like this before where it is one of every type of Swarovski they have as a means to kind of like get people to buy Swarovski. The reason that I don't buy Swarovski is because they're very, they're pretty expensive. Okay, yeah, I have this. I have the same one down there. Um, they're really expensive and the sheer amount that I use on costumes, it's not really financially, um, 
like accessible for me really you know Ooh, look at these Wee! so i got some black and some purple these are so pretty all right as if i didn't need them but these were all like 40 or 50 percent off so So almost all of the sequins I wanted, they were out of. And of course, the, the color that I used the least, they still had. So I, I was trying to get a bunch of sequins because of um, my Wanda costume that I'm making next year. I want to like heavily embellish the trim, whatever trim I pick. So I was trying to get like reds and pinks, you know because her scheme is red, but I don't think either of these pinks will work, but I have them because, so like now I can like use them. They're just faceted um, or yeah, they're, what are they called? They're sequins. They have a name. They're faceted, I think that's what they're called, but anyway. And then I got, so my favorite um, non like, like uh, eBay, um, how do I say this? Like a uh, non hot fix. So these aren't hot fix and they're not purchased on eBay. They're, they're stones. And my favorite is Bohemian, which I'm gonna see if I can, there we go. You guys can see that. Um, I really like this brand a lot. Um, they're just, in my opinion, they're, they're, they're worth like the price point for them is worthwhile to buy thousands and thousands so and then these are all just different sizes so this is the the ss16 this is 12 this is um this is also 12 oh this is also 16 and this is also 16 so sweet so that's what i got i'm pretty bummed that they were out of all the sequins but oh well Okay, I'll be back here in uh, a little bit to for Toby and I to show you us making our little, um, what is it called? The basket that we're putting in our counter. You'll see it. You'll know what I'm talking about. So uh, I'll get some clips and stuff in here soon. Okay, bye. All right, so good morning. Uh, happy Sunday. This is day six of Vlogmas and I am here. Um, basically it's Sunday and I have a video that goes live at 12 o'clock. So what I do to prep or set up for that is go in and change the link tree on my Instagram. I schedule a post um, to go live at the same time as the video with the link to the video on my Twitter as well as on my um, uh, Facebook. And then I one more thing I need to do is schedule a post to go live on my website with the video as well. Um, and oh, actually what I think I'm gonna do this time instead of doing that, I am going to make an amendment to my Cage Cunnilin blog with the video at the beginning. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've been pinning the rest of the trim onto that gold skirt over there that is on the table. I'll probably put a little B-roll in here at some point of that. And then I'm going to go downstairs and hand sew it at noon. I'm taking an antique corset class. Um, it's just a one hour Zoom call with, um, about corsets, corsetry from the Victorian era. And they're going to show some, um, 15 corsets from that, uh, that are actually antique corsets, which will be really cool. And I'm pretty excited for that because I signed up for it a week ago, um, just as a, 
thing to do to um, like treat myself for how much work I've been doing. I know that it's still work, but for me, like education and learning is really important. And um, getting to reward myself with something that is educational and, you know, that I'll hopefully be able to take away some more information on corsetry to me is really worth it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Toby's going to brew. So, um, he's off doing brew land. Toby, Toby, <laughs> even I are going to cuddle on the couch and get some hand sewing done and watch some Christmas movies, probably some of the really cheesy, like Hallmark Christmas movies or something. And then once I'm done with my hand sewing, if I'm feeling up to it, I will cut out the lining for the skirt and the waistband and get it sewn up. If not, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Like it's not, I don't have to do it today if I don't want to, but I can if I want to. So yeah, that is today. I will check in with you later on. I know I didn't check in last night. Things just, I just got so busy um, and distracted from pizza and Bailey Sarian. So, uh, <laughs> I, we, I definitely didn't check in at the end of the day, but I will do so at least, um, after my class and then probably around dinner. I'm not going to cook dinner tonight. We're just going to have leftovers. So there won't be any like cooking footage, but I mean, who knows, maybe I'll do something fancy for dinner or something like some fancy footage then we'll see, but I'll talk to you guys very soon. All right, good morning. Happy day seven of Vlogmas. And today we have to start editing Vlogmas. Um, and I was really, really hoping I would have the trim hand sewn onto the skirt for Belle by now, like completely done. I don't, but I might throw what I have up on my dress form and just get you guys some visual by the end of the day so that you can see it. I do need to put it on the dress form because I have to write my weekly vlog for Patreon. And today is Toby's birthday. So we're gonna go out to like a, a lunch dinner thing. We like, <laughs> we went on to Google and in the section of Google where it tells you like, this is the slowest time of the day. There's no usually no one here. We found the slowest time of the day for one of our favorite ramen spots. So we figured we would go and if it's too busy for our comfort level, we would just order it from there and take it home or um, head over to schoolhouse where you, you can sit outside. We're gonna kind of figure it out. But basically at like three o'clock today, I'm gonna kind of call it for a couple hours, go celebrate Toby. I gave him his gift a couple days ago and I took Saturday off so we could do the ax throwing and that kind of stuff. Um, so I have to work a lot of today, plus like to get this video up on Wednesday, which is when I'm gonna have it go live, I need to be able to edit it and I 
don't have an intro. I don't have um, any of the, um, like the dates set so that like when I do the new day, it'll like come up here pretty magically. I don't know, we'll figure that out. And then obviously I haven't really edited anything, but I have organized all of my clips. So that puts me in a good place. Um, yeah, and I was really hoping that this vlog, I would have some sort of sewing, like besides the stuff I made earlier last week, that I'd have some sort of sewing, what's the word, like things to show you guys but I didn't have any really, I don't have anything really finished. So this is week one. <laughs> By the end of today, I will have footage at least of Belle on the dress form. So yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of, yeah. So here we are, day seven, December 7th, and uh, lots of editing to do. Um, I'm excited. I ha I just picked the song for the intro and I think it'll be fun and upbeat and cute. Um, so I'm gonna try to make like a 12 second, 10 to 12 second intro real quick, real quick. It'll take me most of this morning and then uh, go from there. So I'll, I'll chat with you. I'm running today. It's Monday. So I'll chat with you either pre or post run, probably post run to tell you how I did. Yeah. See you then. Alright, so I went for a run, um, I got all of the, I got the new intro made, and I got the new, um, uh, in After Effects, I, I wrote all the dates, so like every day, when it's a new day for Vlogmas, like the date will come up, and I'm about, I'm, I'm like halfway through day three of editing for the first week of Vlogmas, uh, it's almost two o'clock, we're gonna go get our car, um, get emissions and then we're gonna go hopefully it will be dead and we can get some ramen <sighs> sweats life in a pandemic um but either way we'll have ramen whether it's in the shop or not in the shop um and then i'll come back and get some more editing done i'm feeling really good i feel like i got a lot done already um especially considering it's like almost two I feel like I feel good about today so yeah I'll try to get some b-roll of um, that kind of stuff and then uh, I'll see you guys when I come back
right, so I've made it up to basically, uh, it is 5.25 on December 7th, and I am, um, out, like, after this, uh, basically I'm going to get it into the video and make a thumbnail and then go downstairs, export, obviously, import and upload to Patreon, and, um, then from there go downstairs and have a drink with my partner. Toby's birthday is today, and he brought home a stout, and then we also talked about hot chocolate, so we might do that, and then I do have hand sewing still to do on Belle. So I might get some of that done. He's playing games with friends. Um, but that is going to be it for our first ever, <laughs> like, <laughs> Vlogmas entry. I don't know how to say this because I'm kind of trying to make it like a sewing Vlogmas. But, um, yeah, that's our first ever uh, Vlogmas entry. And um, I'll be back in seven days with another one. And I would just like to shout out to my patrons. Um, thank you guys so much for being a part of my art and helping me create beautiful things. And um, if you like sewing, Disney, cosplay, or like just pretty garments, please subscribe to my channel. We don't always do a vlog style video, but if y'all like this, I've enjoyed it. <laughs> it's definitely a lot to edit, but I'll let you guys know in, at the end of it how I feel, but I've, I've really enjoyed this. I think today's a little lot because I made like an, a new intro and all these other things, but uh, I think once I get into the groove of it, I will like it a lot more, but we will, uh, we'll talk soon, okay? I'll see you guys in a week. Well, actually Sunday, we'll have the first like construction video on making bell and then on next Wednesday we'll have another vlog so I'll see you guys then goodbye goodbye